Okay, so in this tutorial we'll be having a look at the code effect and it's pretty similar to the pitch, as in it's always working with the pitch um, uh, that you're sending into Ableton. So let's open up the browser and under MIDI effects drag in a code. And okay, so this is the code. And as you can see we've got six styles here and six numbers. And basically what the code does is it says, unlike the pitch which shifts the, the pitch, so if you say with the pitch 36, and you say plus one, it will turn on 37 instead, so it will move 36 to 37. The code adds to it. So you can see straight away we're sending 36 in. Uh, this number is, this button is um, identified as 36. That's just the way Novation built it, um, if you're just uh, joining for this video. So if, um, if I do plus one, it's not gonna just light this one up, it's gonna add this button to this one, so like this. So then if I do plus two, it will add 36, it will add plus 1, 37, and then it will add plus 2 as 38. So like this. And then if I do plus 3, then it's going to light this row up. If I do plus 4, be careful here. Remember that the whole, lo the whole launch pad is divided into 2. So it won't light this one up, it will light this one up. Because this is number 40. So it's 36, 37, 38, 39. And this is number 40, not this one. Um, so if you want to light this one up, it's easy, pretty, pretty much just maths. There are 64 buttons, divided by half. So um, 64 divided by two is 32. So if you do 32, you can see that that will light that up, okay? Let's not look at that now. So um, just one quick thing, these numbers, I wouldn't really use them much, but they basically, um, let me just get rid of these two values. They basically change the velocity. So, um, if I change this, you'll see the the will be a different velocity here. So, so you can see it always has a different color. Um, if I press it, a good way to show you maybe is um, with these because um, they're always sending the same uh, number. So if I do this and change it, you can see now it's always got this color instead of orange. So uh, I'm just using this because um, it sends out the same velocity these buttons here. So let's um, forget about that. I, I wouldn't recommend using that, to be honest. And let's just go back to our row. So what happens if we press this button here, for example? Well, obviously it's still doing the same thing. It's doing plus one, plus two, and plus three. Whilst we want it to do this one, and then plus one, but also minus one and minus two. So if we press this, and I'll just um, reset everything here. Um, so we want to do plus one, and we've got that one lit. But we also want to do minus one, so minus one, and we've got this one lit, then minus two, and they all light up. So you can see here the fact that it's divided in half, etc., is kind of annoying because you won't always get a perfect um, row, so keep that in mind. You have to calculate it a bit. So I want to show you something a bit practical. So we've got a row lit up here. Remember, um, Right now what's happening, if you think about the flow um, of the signal, uh, it's going from left, from here, it's going in, so we're just sending one note into this component. This component is sending four notes out. So if we add another chord, this is receiving four um, numbers. So it's actually gonna take, if I do plus four here, so we've got plus one, plus two, plus three, plus, wait, plus one, plus two, and plus three, so like this. If we add plus four, which is here, so plus one, plus two, plus three, and plus four, it's not only gonna do plus four for this one, it's gonna do plus four for this, and this, and this. So it's gonna add all of that. So then I can do, if you do four by four, which is vertically, basically, uh, eight and 12, then we've got a whole quadrant lit up. And if we add another one and do plus 16, because if you count, these are 16 notes, right? If we do 16, we're gonna send all of them up 16. It's four by four here, right? So this is gonna be 16, taking these up here. So you can see just turning that off. We've got 16 lit up here. If we add another 16, we're gonna get this to turn up, up here. So we're taking these 16 and adding 16 um, to all of those. And uh, so what happens, the, the annoying thing is, how do you get a launch pad? Say I want to press this number, I want the whole launch pad to light up. Well, the annoying thing is, I can do 32, 16. So this quadrant is zero, you can say. This one is 16. This one will be 32, right? So now we've got this one. 
But if it goes only all the way up to 36 here, the dial, you're only going to get this, right? 32 plus 6 is, it will basically only reach that. So this is why it's so important to understand the difference. Here we're taking, so um, right now we've got this quadrant, right? Turned on. And what we're doing with this code here, with this one here, is we're adding 16 and 32. And that's not enough. So if what we can do is we can split that, and we've got uh, this whole row here. If we add the code in like this, and then do 32, the signal is different. It's not taking a quadrant. It's no longer taking a quadrant and doing plus 16 and uh, plus 32. It's taking a half. So it's taking the quadrant and just adding uh, 16 to it. And then that, this whole row goes into this code. And then you do plus 32. So I hope you understand that if you don't um, just copy these settings and just try to mess about, mess about with them uh, until you do. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. If you have any questions, leave a comment below.